Hello, good afternoon, children. Today we will be taking a new topic that is chapter 5 of science. And chapter 5 says about plants in the surroundings. So, we all know what is plants. Plants, the, the, our earth is the only green planet. You know why? Because it is due to the presence of uh, plants. And plants is very important in our life. Without it, uh, the living beings like human beings, animals, or other insects or species may not survive. Because there are many uh, uh, relations between humans and plants. For instance, we all get our food, shelter, then clothing, medicines, etc. Even the fuel, yes, we all get from the remains or the products from the plants. So now, before we go deep into it, it is always good to point out and study, which I have already written on the board, the parts of the plants. So we will mainly focus on the parts of the plants. So basically, plants are divided into two parts. And to cite an example, I would like to show you one small plant I brought it. I managed to brought it. This is the plant you can see here. You see here, yes. It looks green and it has some branches, leaves, fruits and flowers. You see here, and small twigs it can be seen, and these are this portion is the root. Now here we have written root and shoot. Now I would, I would like to clarify which one is shoot and which one is root. Now you can see the bottom part where the earth or soil is still uh, attached with the root. This portion, the white portions or the grey portions, uh, which you can see, this is uh, actually uh, found below the soil. I have uprooted it. So below the soil, this portion till the end is known to be a root. And on the other hand, uh, the top or the, uh, the top portions or the above portions right from the level of the ground or soil is known to be shoot. So this portion from here to here, the shoot, this is known to be a shoot or sh portion of shoot. Now let us try to discuss one by one. Now, let us come first to uh, the root. Root is mainly divided into two parts. What are they? They are taproot and fibrous roots. Okay, now let us come to taproot. What does taproot mean? Okay, taproot, I have brought one more example. This is a sapling of sapling of uh, jackfruit. Can you see here? See the leaves, the stem, and the roots. Can you see the roots? Yes. This red portion till here. This is the root of the jackfruit saplings. And you can see here the root, the main root, which is attached from the uh, base of the stem. And uh, going towards the depth or underground, this portion is the main tap root. It uproot inside the ground. And besides this, there are small, small uh, branches of roots. So this is one example of tap root. It always goes deep into the soil. On the other hand, on the other hand, we have fibrous roots or fibrous root. Fibrous root 
Actually, I have brought this example. This is a grass, one kind of grass, basically found in our surroundings. Can you see this? The green portion where you can see leaves and stem and branches, small twigs. Below this, you can see uh, some roots like fibers. This root spread out under the ground. There, there is no main root going deep into the soil, but it spread out the moment it touched the soil, uh, moving towards all directions. And it has same sizes, you see here. So it looks like a fibers. So this portion is known to be a fibrous root. So this is one example of fibrous root. Now, the question is, how, what does this root uh, play a role? The functions, you can say the functions. All right, root play a very great role uh, when you see in a plant. Uh, roots always protect the soil from erosions, number one. And number two, it uh, give or it takes uh, minerals and nutrients or minerals and water from under the ground and supply to the main stem and other parts of the tree or plants. And thirdly, the important parts of root is it also uphold or hold the entire plant or tree, whatever may be, uh, to make it firmly or to make it stand upright. So this is one main function of the root. So uh, three points or four points you have already said about the functions of the root. Now let us come back to the other parts of the plants. That is the shoot part. I have mentioned few of it. What are uh, seen under this suit, like stem, branches, leaves, buds, flowers, fruits, and seeds. Now we can take an example from this small plant. You can see these green portions, which is on the top of the soil. This is the main stem. Let us talk about the stem. Now, stem are of, again, different types in different plants. It can be of different size and different shapes. Under this, we can mention few, like uh, trees. It is subdivided into three or five portions. To mention it, I would like to write here, under stem, the big tree stems or tree has got a very hard and, you know, hard and woody. Hard and woody, or hard and strong, I can say. Hard and hard, thick and hard, let us say. Thick, hard and thick. Hard and thick bark or trunk. So, this type of uh, stems are found in a tree. And secondly, we have herbs. Herbs, let me write here. Herbs. Herbs, they have usually soft and green stem. Example, it can be coriander. Here, coriander example. 
and three you can name it. Uh, you can give an example Neem, Gobahan, etc. etc. All right, and the third one we can write shrubs. Shrubs. The stems are hard and woody. Very hard and woody. Example hibiscus. So hibiscus. Bougainvillea, you can write. And the fourth point, we can write climbers. Ah, sorry, creepers. 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 The creepers usually creep on the ground. Creep on the ground. Example watermelon. Water miller. So creepers, we creep on the ground, and example is water miller. And the last one that is climbers. Climbers are a big stand. Let me write here. Climbers are a big stand. Which need support. Support to climb. Which need support to climb. Alright. So, example you can give. Uh, money plant. Very common money plant. With a very beautiful plant. Money plant. So, we have got under the stand. We have got tree, herb, shrubs, creepers, and climbers. So they have different sizes and different stems. Now let us come to uh, the functions of this uh, stem. Stem actually play a great role. It supplies uh, water and mineral to all parts of the tree or all parts of the plant. And it also help to hold the branches and other parts of the plants. So that is the main functions of stem. Let us come back to branches. I will wipe out all this. Now let us come back to the uh, another part of this branches. Yes, as I have said, branches. The main function of branches you can see in all parts of the plant. For example, here I will show you again for this small plant. These are the branches which divide from the main stem and going towards other different directions. These are called stems, and it plays a great role. How? Uh, to strengthen or to hold the other parts of the plant like twigs, leaves, fruits, flowers. Alright, so this uh, and it also has to supply uh, minerals and water, shade, like how the stem uh, functions. It also functions the same and it helps towards the other parts of the uh, plants. Now, next point is leaves. It's very important. Leaves. Leaves or leaf, singular one, let us write. Leaf, it plays a great role. It is also known as uh, kitchen factory of a plant. Kitchen factory. Why it is called kitchen factory? Now let us see. Kitchen factory. Because leaf is the only part of the plant that manufactures or that produces food for the plants. And not only that. The other function what it has is leaves when it manufactures its food at the same time it also gives out oxygen. Oxygen 
is the air that we breathe in, which is very important for all the living beings, especially we human beings need oxygen. So we get oxygen from the leaves of the plants, from the green leaves of the plants, and leaf is the kitchen factory where with the help of warm air and sunlight, they produce oxygen. And when they manufacture this food, with the help of a small pore known as stomata, it gives out. This process is known to be a photosynthesis. So, I hope you all are clear about leaf. This is very important. And let us come back to buds. Buds, we all know. But it is the first part of the blooming of the flower. Before it turns into main flowers, it forms like a bud. It close the close flower. We can see close flower before blooming. All right. This is called bud. Rosebud, if you see rose flower, you can see rosebud in all kinds of flowers. You will see, but I hope I can give you one example here. Yes, can you see here? Yeah, the small one here. Yeah, the smaller one. This one. This is uh, the bud, the third one. <coughs> all right, now. Let us come back to flowers. Flower. Flower is the most colorful and beautiful part of the plant. Colorful and beautiful part. Colorful and most beautiful. Most beautiful part of the plant. Colorful and beautiful part of the plant. We can see in almost all the plants uh, the colorful and beautiful flower and the main functions of flowers we can see the flower it converts into what? It converts into converts into fruit or fruits, fruit or fruits. The flower converts into food or fruits. So we get food to eat from a plant or tree. It is all from flower. It started uh, bearing from flower. Now let us come back to fruits. What is the part of the fruits? This is the fruit. Yes, the fit flowers, fruits. Fruit, six, the six portion. Yeah, fruit is the fleshy and tasty part of the plant that we eat. So most of the fruits are edible and some are not. So uh, example, we eat fruits like apples, oranges, pears, pineapple, banana, etc. So fruits again. It provides what? What is the main function of the fruit? To protect seeds. It protects seeds or seeds. Seed or seeds. It protects seeds. So seeds. There are different. Uh, different fruits have different kinds of seeds. Again, some have single, some have few, or some have many seeds. All right. So, example, uh, fruits like mango, it has only one seed. Fruits like apples and pears, it has few seeds. And fruits like papaya and uh, watermelons, it has many seeds. Now, the main functions that I, as I have said, it bears seeds and it protects seeds. Fruits. Now, let us come to the last part of the shoot. That is seeds. Seeds are found, as I said, inside the fruit. And seeds
seeds. Very interesting. Let us see uh, seeds. If we check in most of the plants or most of the fruits, uh, seeds are of two types. Seeds having one, uh, let us say first, uh, 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 cotyledon. Cotyledon are those. Cotyledon. Cotyledon means the small leaves or the small leaf inside the seed. Small leaf or leaves inside the seed. This is called cotyledon. And seeds have either one or two cotyledon. And one, one cotyledon seeds are known to be monocot. Monocot seeds. And the seed which have two leaves are known to be dicot. Dicotyledon or dicot. Dicot seeds. So can you see the difference? And there is a small plant between these two seeds which are known to be embryo. This embryo is a uh, small uh, sapling, no, small parts of the plants that comes out from the seeds. The, the fresh part of the plant. Okay, now we have to talk about seeds. And especially one seeds you will find example in corn or maize, we call it. And dicot we will find in kidney bean. Kidney bean seed. Kidney bean seed we can find here. So these are a uh, few things that we need to know. And now let us come back. Let us come back to germinations. The seeds, here I have written germinations. Seeds, when it turns into sapling. Seed, when it turns into sapling or saplings, is called germinations. So I hope you have understood seeds when it turns into seconds, when it forms, when uh, the seeds it forms, when it germinates or when it turns into seconds, it is known to be germination. A small seed that comes out. This is one example of uh, germination. It comes out from a small seeds I have planted, and after a few days it comes out into a small plants, and this this is near about uh, four to five months old. So if, it, it, if, if we plant it, it will go bigger and bigger and it will turn into a big size. So every plant, it grows from its seeds, it germinates. Now, the question is, the most important part, we are coming to the conclusions, the most important part, care of plants. Now students, you see, <coughs> there are a few points that I would like to mention. Care for the plants or care of plants. Uh, you must put uh, ample of water, plenty of, put plenty of water or water the plants you can say put plenty of water to the plants and always you remember that plants get what and pull of sunlight sunlight is very important for the plant 
so stupid to even be. The third point we can write. When you grow a plant, when you grow plants or plants, there should be what? There should be sufficient. Gap or space. In other words, it is space. Now, for me, oh, yes, for me, let me write here. I believe it will benefit you by uh, going through all this and if you have any problem you can ask or sms or call anytime. Thank you, have a good day.